Hi, I'm Gary and welcome to Jargon Free Help. Now I know for many of you, playing video files on your computer can sometimes be a hassle, whether it be Windows or a Mac. Well, there's a great bit of software called VLC, which you can find at videolan.org. And it's a great bit of software. It will play pretty much everything, including flash videos that you might download from YouTube. And I have a tutorial to show you how to do that. And you can check that out. It's under the iPad, iPhone, and also internet categories, which you can see down the left-hand side of the website. And it's also good if you've got DVDs, but you don't have a DVD software to play on your computer, but you've got a DVD drive and you don't want to pay for it. VLC will sort that out as well. And it has the added bonus of being able to convert files from one format to another so they can play on other devices. So it's free, great idea. But recently they introduced it for things like the iPhone, iPod Touch and iPad as well. Because on these you needed the videos to be a specific format. It's known as MPEG-4. Now you don't really need to know the names of them. You could have converted them using iTunes or the QuickTime Player also converts them. So they're free and you could have taken videos in another format and converted them, but they can be slow and time consuming. And some formats don't convert. Anyway, VLC did actually make a version. It's an app for both of these devices and it's just fantastic and it will play pretty much anything. Everything I've tested so far has worked in lots of different formats. So just a quick look, if I look at it on the iPad here, you can see that here's the app. I just click on VLC here. You see there's a few here. I can just choose one and you can see that it does just play the video perfectly. And that's great and I can have a whole load on here. I don't have to worry about converting them and it's fantastic. So as I said, you can actually get the videos off of YouTube and put them on devices like this. So on the iPhone as well, on the computer because you're not always online to watch them and it might be a good video that you want. You might want to use it in a presentation or in the classroom. But just a word of warning, those videos may be subject to copyright. You do need to check if it's on YouTube, even though someone hasn't put that it's their copyright, you should acknowledge the person and probably contact them to say, do you mind if we use it? You will see some that say, yes, it's free to use. Some may say you can use it as long as you credit me. But this does work brilliantly as well on the iPhone and it's just um, so easy as well. You just open it, you play it. There is audio here, but I've got that switched off at the moment. So because hopefully you're listening to me and not to this, but it is available. And look, the quality is just great. So pretty much anything you can download, VLC is the thing to get there. That is also the app of the week. So just remember VLC using videoland.org and also you can download those files. As I said, there's a tutorial. Get Safari installed, it's a browser. It's already on the Apple Mac if you're already using that. But if you've got a Windows computer, just go to apple.com slash Safari, download it. It's a free browser like Internet Explorer or Firefox or Chrome and it works really well. But you'll see in the tutorial that I've got, there's a great way of capturing videos off of YouTube and then you can use VLC to play it. So fantastic stuff. So on to this week's new tutorials. Well, this week's new tutorial, I've actually already mentioned it, which you can find under iPhone, iPad and Internet on those categories on the left hand side. And this is to actually show you how to take a video off of Safari, but that's the browser you're going to use to capture it and how to then play it in VLC. And that's just a lovely bit of software to use. It's great all this free stuff out there. If you've got something that you're using and you think it's really useful, let me know. Probably feature it on here, give you a mention as well, because after all, these are for you and to make your life a little bit easier. So thanks for watching. Hope you found this interesting. If you have, then pass it on to anyone else that you might know and happy computing.